can never ever find the right words and there's no way this is real life there's no telling you What's up guys? Welcome back to we'll go back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be working on the M4 once again, but we finally got the things that we need to fully assemble the front end. I went down to BMW earlier and uh, we picked up the pretty much the side uh, the, the side of the radiator support. One of you guys said in the last video that you could tell them to price match. So I literally took the I showed FCP Euro and uh, technically they don't have to, what they told me they don't have to price match, but they pretty much just did it. So I, I mean huge shout out to them. So I saved about 30 to 40 dollars. So shout out to that person that said that so I don't have to overpay for the item and I got it same exact day which is great so yeah let's just go ahead and for the first thing we gotta put on that bracket and before we actually get into the video guys let's go ahead and mention the shout outs of today's video so shout out to Jeremiah and Mike for copying some merch shout out to Kelvin and Dennis thank you guys so much shout out to Sebastian and Mohammed huge special shout out to I think Daper D-A-P-R he purchased the crates a huge shout out to you my guy Oh dear, I almost fell. Shout out to Ezekiel, and huge shout out to Manuel. You guys don't understand, whenever you guys purchase those crates, how much it helps me with the M4 build. This thing is very, very, very expensive. You guys look at parts on this car. It is an arm and a leg. So huge shout out to you guys, especially the ones purchasing crates. It really helps the man right here. Shout out to Diego and Andy for purchasing some Save a BMW shirts. Huge shout out to Tyler. I think he purchased the big crate. Bro, huge shout out to you. Thank you so much. Shout out to Alex and Shiroz. Man, a lot of you guys are purchasing Great. Again, thank you guys so much. So huge special shout out to Chandler and Tavion. I think he actually purchased two crates before. So huge shout out to him for supporting the channel, supporting me. Thank you so much. Shout out to Al and Charles, Rodrigo and Francisco, Leo and Awed. Huge special shout out to Antonio for purchasing another crate. Thank you so much. Shout out to Samir and Tyreek. Shout out to, I believe, Sasant. I don't know if I pronounced it that wrong, but uh, I'm sorry if I did. Shout out to Fernando and Cynthia. Thank you guys so much. Huge special shout out to Samit for purchasing a shirt and some merch and shout out to Carlos my guy shout out to Xavier again for copying some merch shout out to Abraham and Dylan Luca and Alan and huge special shout out to Will Will was the person from the last video I told you guys that whoever the purchase is that big crate full of random goodies I'm gonna give a huge special shout out to this. so again thank you thank you so much Will that was bunch of, just a bunch of like random mods I've had for a bunch of different cars and just a bunch of tools so you're about to unbox like the most weirdest care package ever but I hope you enjoy it thank you so much for supporting the channel and last but not least shout out to you Tom let's get back into the video because guys once we put on that bracket right there all this is gonna sit perfectly and we can start assembling the heat exchanger you start putting the whole radiator support and everything even the two center radiators and then do an oil change you probably can go rip this around the block honestly All right, guys, so we have both brackets on. The bolts on the bottom, everything lines up perfectly. So everything's being held up without any bungee cords or anything. Our only issue is this side looks pretty flush, but then it gets pretty wide over here because of the tank. And I'm not really too sure how this is supposed to work, but this isn't supposed to look like this. So we're trying to just figure this out real quick, have that properly mounted and then put the plastic piece over. And then this whole situation is good to go. But until then, we're just playing around with this for now. We're trying to figure out why this AC condenser won't sit right because right now with just the radiator if we put it where it needs to go that sits like that perfectly and it looks so good everything's sitting absolutely perfectly but our only issue is this AC condenser was not fitting right for the life of it and we couldn't really figure it out why and then we looked on the side of it and literally says 2012 2017 BMW 2 3 and 4 this isn't for an m4 this is for a normal 3 series um this side's slightly beat up too so we're gonna go ahead and return this and then uh go ahead and see if he has an m4 one that he can trade with us because that's what we paid for an m4 ac condenser not this 2 3 and 4 series one so in the meantime i mean at least you have the bracket on there i guess right we, we, we did something in the front end but at least but we can't end the video just on a bracket so when we come around to the interior we have that knee airbag that needs to get worked on the steering wheel airbag and then we also have the roof airbag so i guess you might as well start working on that at least get the whole interior pretty much done and squared away so then once we actually get this front end together hopefully in the next video when we get that new ac condenser all it needs to do is get done at the frame shop put on a new bumper hood headlights and we're ready to go like it should be pretty easy i mean there is still a lot more to do in the front end but i ordered the whole front clip 
So it should literally be all done in one video. So I'm pretty excited about that. It sucks that literally we had the wrong part on the AC on the side of the AC thing, and now we have the wrong of the we have the wrong AC condenser, which it is what it is. You know, working on cars, you don't always order the right thing. I guess yeah. For the meantime, uh, me and my brother are just gonna go ahead and work on the airbags and hopefully get all that squared away. All right, guys. So we got the knee airbag. So this is the brand new knee airbag. I mean, obviously it, it's slightly beat up, but I mean, who really cares? You're not gonna see it. It's gonna go deep in there. And uh, this is proof that we actually bought an airbag, so I'm actually gonna keep this. Ugh. We'll keep this for ourselves, and we're gonna cut off that zip tie, cut off this zip tie. This airbag, we also picked it up, which is the driver airbag, which is perfect. And then this is the current airbag for the right side. So that's perfect, and that's what we needed, right? Right side? Yeah, yeah right side. Imagine. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> So, so much parts. I know. So we have all the airbags. Let's go ahead and knock out these two real quick because they're the easiest ones on the driver's side. At least the driver's perfect. There's no blown airbags, nothing like that. We do have the blown seat belts. We're gonna take it down to LED Solutions. We're gonna get custom seat belts, fix all the seize up seat belts. Why not just do it all at once? But yeah, meantime, let's go ahead and knock this out and knock this out. Guys, so the interior actually came out beautiful. I absolutely love the interior. It's literally shining. Um, but anywho, let's go ahead and install the airbags real quick. So we have this one, which is the easiest one. We might as well just put it in because it's gonna look absolutely gorgeous. Just like that, right? One wire? You sure just one? Yeah, looks like just one wire. Bada bing, bada bang, his steering wheel's already done. <laughs> Looking like a clean title already. So the next part is we just have uh, this bottom blown one. Um, so I think what we're gonna have to do right here, just a few tabs it looks like. Oh, a couple bolts in the back. All right, let me go ahead and get my tools real quick guys and uh, go ahead and get this thing removed. <laughs> Right, guys so we just got the old one out so this one's completely blown out this is what we need to get rid of what i just realized the car still has power so before installing the new one let's go ahead and just make sure we disconnect the battery thank god that one nothing happened to it let's make sure nothing happens to this one because my hands would be blown away now that the negative is disconnected let's go ahead and install the new airbag and get everything uh, situated down there <laughs> So yeah, we have that bottom airbag installed. There's literally no damage here anymore. You can literally feel free to click in anything over here. Steering wheel airbags in. So the only thing in the interior now is pretty much the seized up seat belt, as you guys can see, which we're gonna get replaced in general and get that fixed up. And then that airbag right behind my brother right there, we need to get that thing replaced right now. Actually, if we can get your front side out, this. If we can just get this one out, then we should be fine. Well, what the f you got yours out hella easy. <laughs> you just pulled on it? Yeah. No, so I pulled it up, popped it. And then it pulled up like you said. So pretty much we got most of the stuff from the front end of the car off of the car. There's actually a lot of things to it, but thankfully uh, we watched, there's a couple videos on YouTube on how to put Starlight roof liner or whatever. And they actually show you the full process on how to take off everything. So if you guys want to learn how to take all that stuff off, just make sure to watch like a Starlight video. It's the easiest way to learn how to take every piece off of this car. Now we're gonna go off to the rear and move the side pillars and then move the whole uh, headliner hopefully. All right guys, I don't know if you guys can see the roof, but for the most part, we do have the roof pretty much disconnected. The thing is, we we found out there's a screw back here and there's a screw back there so we'll have to remove pretty much all the rear seats uh, which is honestly such a pain but we're gonna go have to remove all the rear seats all the side things uh, just to remove these side walls because it exposes the screw and then we should be able to get the whole roof out once we get the whole roof out uh, we can see if we need to get this repaired or uh, redone and then uh, we'll figure out how to get this airbag out because uh, that's a mission
much already wrapped up the car. I know it is like pretty much an early day. It's only like 5.30, but it just gets really dark and it's just not good for content. Hopefully in the next video, we do have everything mounted. We just need to get that AC condenser in there. And then as soon as we get all that stuff situated, we'll be able to bring the car inside the garage and start working on it. And at the same time, guys, we got all the airbags out. Um, this headliner actually looks pretty good. Is this the side that blew out? So yeah, we do have some creases here. We do have some creases here actually, a little bend here. Um, I don't know if this is fixable. We're gonna have to look into that. Maybe some heat can fix it. But yeah, actually there are some bends, but in terms of sagging, huh? I honestly think it looks good. It does look really good. It, it looks really clean too, which is really nice. And then all this stuff is out of the car too. I'm gonna go ahead and clean all this up. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Um, I don't wanna leave a mess because I gotta get the eye in here. So again, enjoy the next three seconds without me, but three, two, uh, 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 two, one. <laughs> Good morning, guys. This is the next morning, and we're heading down, I think, to BMA European. So they're an auto recycling place that I actually picked up this AC condenser from. It turns out this is not from the, the, the M4. This is from like a four series, a two series. So we're gonna go down there, exchange it with an M4 one, and then also we need some wiring harnesses and we need a frame rail. So we need a bunch of things for the M4. I don't know if they're gonna be able to cut off the frame rail today, but at least let's place an order for it. And then in terms for all the wires, the CP has the actual donor card there because if they do, we can have those wire harnesses cut off. It would be so perfect because then we have everything we need to hook up the car. So anyway, guys, I'll see you guys when we get there. As we just arrived, let's go ahead and get the AC condenser, go inside and see if we can get a couple things or just the AC condenser. If we can at least get the AC condenser, we can get the car to be driving today, um, but we'll have to see. Sheesh, look at the cars, guys. This is the individual MT that they built. Absolutely in love with it. This is the first time the Aussie sees it. It's a manual with red interior, dude. This is the dream spec. Oh man. Gee. That is clean stuff, dude. <laughs> I know, right? Look at the fitments. Absolutely perfect. Is... Guys, we just got the new condenser. Shout out to them. So I just talked to all of them. Their dad was there. So I didn't really want to record. Um, so if you guys see this video, the owners of this shop, just know I didn't want to record because you know, just out of, out of respect. But um chill people. Really yeah, they I love I love them, honestly. They're really nice guys. But anywho, we have the AC condenser and I can see the tab is perfect on this one. Um, it's not that the other one wasn't perfect, the other one just wasn't for this car. So me and my brother was literally thinking about cutting the tab off last night. But it looks like we won't need to. So, anyhow, um, here you go, my dude. Let's go ahead and uh, just head home. All right, guys, a couple hours later, your man finally ate his food and uh, he's ready to start working on the M4. So we finally got our brand new AC condenser. Obviously, this is used with a few nicks here and there, but a brand new one of these run about 500 and this is just how a used one would look. This is just normal wear and tear from just you know, having a used AC condenser. This just happens from rock chips and stuff like that. This is actually in really good shape and I'm actually really happy about it. No bends anywhere here, no bends anywhere there. So yeah, this should honestly fit in like OEM. So if you guys weren't able to tell from last night, we got the whole roof out. We have all the pillars, everything, the side of the seats. Actually, that's one piece. I don't, oh, the other piece is right over there. And we have the rear seats right here. Let me guys show you guys the carbon roof from the inside. It is so cool. So coming around to the interior, you guys saw we finished both those airbags. So from this thing, everything looks good. This airbag's actually perfect. This one is the one that's blown out. So we're gonna have to drill that out. We're gonna have to drill this out. You know, these are just these are just clips. We gotta take all those clips out. We have to drill those holes out. We have to get this entire airbag out. We do also need to take this out to put the headliner back in. But check out the roof, guys. <laughs> like this is so cool. I didn't really realize like it's it's a full carbon fiber piece, which is insane. And honestly, if this was a track car, I would just have a cage in here with the exposed carbon roof because this looks awesome. And thank God this isn't cracked because this looks like a pain to replace. <laughs> Anywho, now that we have all that stuff out, I did have to order a rivet gun because we don't want to jankly just put this back in because. If if the airbag ever deploys again and we did some janky way of putting it on, it could blow up in someone's face or hurt somebody. So, so we're just gonna go ahead and wait on the new rivet gun. It is coming, it should be here in a week and we should be able to take care of this airbag. As I got home today though, we did notice that we got a new package. Super random, but we did get a new package and I'm pretty sure I know who this is from. And there we have it guys. Another headlight. So my boy Erlon, I don't know if you guys remember him. He's a really good friend of mine that basically started helping me with my cars ever since day one on my first 330i. I basically got a huge issue. He helped me fix it. We became good friends since that day. And uh, basically he's in Texas now. He works at this dismantler and uh, he told me he could possibly get me a headlight. I told him if you can, that mean the world because I have one that's worth $2,000 and he found this one for a tenth of the price at a, a basically a junkyard next to him. So I cannot believe that you found this. It's not in perfect shape, but let's just check out how bad it is. Me. All right guys, well looking at the head 
headlight, this actually looks like it's in really good condition. So the tab up here that we primarily need for the radiator support is there, so there's no issue there. I'm trying to see if there's any cracks in the lens. I don't see any cracks in the lens. We have all the modules, which is what I was telling you guys is worth about a grand alone, is just the module. So it has all the modules on here, which is perfect. All the bulbs, it's a complete headlight. I mean, everything looks good. Even this bracket, I don't know if it's supposed to be there, but it looks good. Nothing looks like it's cracked. I don't really know what the issue is with this headlight. It looks perfect, to be honest. I don't know what he said. He said there's something wrong with it, uh, like in terms of uh, cosmetically, but I can't really find it. It looks to be in pristine condition, which I'm really happy about. Let's just make sure this headlight matches my other headlight because there's so many different headlights. But if this one doesn't, I can sell the shell, keep the modules, and just get another shell and we're good to go. All right, guys, putting both headlights in the trunk, they both have the exact same layout here, 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 and then the bottom. They both look great. Something I noticed that this one on the car that was good has a tab right here. This one is broken off. So I think that's the only one that's probably missing. This one on the top is right there. Everything here there's a little group here that's a little bit snapped off right there but that is no big deal the rest of the headlight is absolutely perfect so that is a huge score guys as for this one i might as well just start taking it apart see if there's any good modules on here and just put it up for sale because each one of these modules are about 200 dollars so I know it looks like junk, but one man's junk is another man's treasure. So I'm just gonna go look through this real quick. So at this point, guys, let's go ahead and try to see if we can install this thing. It's gonna be a pain to tighten those in, but if this thing goes in, everything else should just go in. Right, guys the gaps are looking perfectly so that's exactly how it's supposed to be on this side and that's um that's exactly how it's supposed to be on this side i think once we actually put in yeah just like that so that's perfect so once we actually put on the bracket it should hold everything together including the fan so um let's go ahead and find that bracket i don't really know where i put it i was literally walking through the garage and i was like where did i put that bracket i honestly have no idea when you have so many car parts everywhere i have no clue oh my god i gotta get rid of all this garbage and <laughs> never mind, I just found it guys, it was sitting up here. So, uh, we're gonna go ahead and try to put on this bracket. Oh my God, already just setting it on there. Look how good that lines up. So that is so perfect. Um, this little rubber grommet here, it actually, I actually threw it away on the other one. So we're gonna have to go through all that garbage to find that rubber grommet. But we're gonna have to do that because that is at least 20 to $30. And if, you know, I'm not gonna waste 20, $30 if I can go find it through that stuff that I threw out over there. Meantime, let's go ahead and just bolt this on and see if everything just goes according to plan. Guys, look how good that looks. Oh my God, it's like the finishing piece and all the fitment's absolutely perfect. Everything is bolted on. The screws went in easy peasy. Look at the gaps and everything. Nothing was even forced. Everything went in accordingly, so that is perfect. So the next two things I wanna do, I wanna put on the heat exchanger. So you can plug in this hose right here and uh, this one as well. Both of those plug into the heat exchanger, which goes to the front. And then I also wanna find that, uh, that grommet. So let's just try to get those two in in this video. Um, in the next video, we'll have so much to do in terms of uh, radiator and the front clip. But um, in this video, let's just make sure we finish up all these little imperfections so the car is at least drivable. And actually, we might as well do an oil change because we want to, we want it, we want this thing to be drivable. We want to be sure that this is, can actually go down to the frame shop. So that's the goal, actually. Bada bing, bada bang, guys. This is the heat exchanger we are putting on the front of the M4. Look how high quality that is. That's going to be covering up all that stuff. It's going to be literally, I think you actually can see that from the front grills of the car. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure. Look at the Mishimoto just embedding the emboss the tag this is a product that keys motorsports sells guys i'm gonna have the link down below again use code nor5 i works on a lot of the keys motorsports things there and they just literally have everything on their site so so again link down below to keys motorsports if you guys want to pick up this heat exchanger they have a bunch of other also cooling upgrades and i'm gonna be working with them for a lot of sick mods for this car it's gonna look i, I mean I, I you guys know I, I love keys i love keys motorsports Oh my God, guys, that is so satisfying when things just click into place. trying to play with this hose we noticed that it's actually really dented here and uh this hose could be punctured 
So we found one on eBay. It's the entire line. We disconnected from right here. Um, it's going for about 50 bucks, but he's in Rancho Cordova. So I just hit him up, see if I can give him 40 cash for it right now. And he said, sure. So I guess we're gonna go on a little bit of a journey to go get this hose because again, this is a cooling hose and it just feels really weird in here. I hammered it out to see if it gets any better. And I don't wanna mess things up, especially when it comes to cooling. I mean, we have a beautiful heat exchanger. Let's not mess it up with a bad hose. So uh, let's go ahead and just, oh my God, it's looking so good, dude. Let's just go ahead and head out and hopefully get the new hose. All right, guys, so we're about to head out right now. I honestly need to make sure either this car is running as soon as possible, pick up another car because I cannot be driving this around for parts runs. I mean, putting miles on it is one thing, but driving it for parts runs? That's another. All right, guys, so we just made it. Let's see if we can get a $40 hose. All right, guys, so we just made it home with the new hose. So they actually give us the complete hose line. They even capped it off, which is pretty cool to make sure no debris or anything gets in there, or if anything leaks from it, one or the other. But yeah, let's just go ahead and hook that thing up. All right, guys, so we just got this hose in. It was a mission, but look how perfect that is. Look at this Mishimoto heat exchanger. Like, the front end's looking so good. Literally looks like we're just missing a hood and a bumper, and this thing can go back together, but no. It's a lot more than that, but it looks so good. And at this point, we just need this little piece right here. And um, what else? What else? What else do we need to do? So let's go ahead and do the oil change real quick while we still have sunlight. And then after the oil change, uh, we'll go ahead and look for this little grommet piece here. Hey guys, we have our oil cooler up. I know a bungee cord and then this side we have one of my uh, I picked this set up is basically uh, it's like a workout band But this one it just doesn't really do anything So I, I just never used it So we're, we're using it to hold up the oil cooler for the meantime while we do the oil change and I mean heck we might as well leave it up in the meantime regardless All right guys, so uh, we do have the full kit from FCP Euro we have the 5W40, ah, oh my hand, <laughs> 5W40 liquid moly uh, motor oil. Obviously, it'd probably be better to do it on a flat surface, but I don't want to start up a car with, I don't know how much oil is in it. So what we're going to go ahead and do is just do an oil change right here. We're going to put about five and a half quarts out of six and a half quarts, assuming there's another half quart in the car, just because the angle, the angle the oil pan is in. We'll start up the car, move it inside the garage, check the oil levels, and top it off if it needs anything. Also, the oil cap, uh, my boy Jonathan is borrowing my oil cap, so I actually cannot replace the filter right now. We're place the filter in like a day or two it's not a big deal you can do that whenever some oil filters even last like god knows how long like three or four oil changes so we'll go ahead and replace this in a little bit i got this also from fcp euro we got the drain plug and the new gasket from fcp euro so we're gonna go ahead and do is drain the oil remove the cap put in a new one new uh washer and just put the new oil in there and again we'll do the we'll do the filter hopefully in the next video Perfect. <laughs> no oil on me, dude. So at this point, we have new oil in the car. We replaced the plug. The car should be ready to go. So at this point, we're just gonna take it off the jack stand, start it up, and uh, maybe even bring it inside the garage. Uh, that's a long shot. Just in case the, the, the water pump starts kicking in, I don't want a whole bunch of coolant flowing everywhere. So as soon as you see any sides of coolant actually flowing out, I think all the coolant's pretty much gone. But if we see any coolant, we need to cut it off again. This is the first product with new oil, all the coolant things hooked up, other than the two radiators on the side. So hopefully no coolant starts leaking and hopefully this thing starts up pretty healthy. Looks good. <laughs> we got we got a bungee cord here and we got some uh, gym straps. I'm gonna let the car run for a little bit, see how it idles, look at the temperatures, make sure everything is good. And we're also gonna check if anything's leaking or smoking or anything like that. But so far, so good. 
Um, I'm gonna try to just do this for a little bit just to also charge the battery because this thing is a lithium battery and uh, it started up after a couple days. So I'm hoping it stays like that because it's a very expensive battery. These temperatures are still at 160, which is actually really good, which is what, like a quarter or something? Or that's all the way in the bottom? All the way in the bottom. All the way in the bottom. All right, so give it a few revs right now. Uh, we did let it roll up for about five minutes now. So uh, give it a few little revs. I mean, I approve. So good. <laughs> All right, we gotta, we're gonna continue letting it warm up and hopefully it charges the battery pretty good. I'm still looking for the Carly adapter. How's temperatures looking? Uh, we are at sitting nicely at 200, 210. So 210 is like 30 percent, yeah, 40 percent, 40 percent. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, guys, I cannot find Carly for my life, but uh, is it by chance already plugged into the car or there's no chance? No, 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 no. Nothing. No. Uh, I've been, I've been really, I've been really nice, but uh, all right, guys, we're just gonna continue leaving the car running. Uh, my brother's just chilling in the car to make sure if anything happens, to so cut it off. I'm just organizing a few things and uh, looking for Carly. All right, guys, so that is about that. That's all we can do right now. Unfortunately, in these now couple of days, it just gets dark super, super, super quick. But yeah, pretty much we got most of the car together. I was happy we were able to exchange the HE condenser. I'm happy we were able to do most of the airbags in the interior, just that curtain airbag. I ordered a new Milwaukee rivet gun, so we're gonna be using that to get all the rivets in and out. Riv Milwaukee should probably sponsor me. I'm literally using everything Milwaukee now because I'm just, I'm addicted to their tools. But anywho, hopefully in the next video, we'll be able to get the whole front clip on the car, which would be absolutely perfect. Get both radiators on the car, get proper cooling, and take it out for a proper drive. I don't want to drive it right now as it has no cooling. We pretty much let the battery charge today. I'm going to let it sit now tomorrow morning. We're going to go ahead and start up the car and at least try to drive it a little bit. And I'll try to throw in that footage right after the outro. If not, it's going to be the first thing of the next video. So if you guys are excited to see this M4 on the road, make sure to smash the like button. Without further ado, guys, cop some merch to support your boy. Be shot on the next video. I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.